So it might be Thursday here in the Western world, but all the way in Hong Kong, it is Friday morning and it is the ACG HK 2022 Expo, the animation, comic and game Hong Kong Exposition. Their humongous San Diego Comic-Con-esque, Fan Expo Comic-Con-esque kind of convention all the way in Hong Kong. And while most of the stuff that is on display is stuff that we have already seen at San Diego Comic-Con the past weekend, there is some brand new products from different companies. Uh, in terms of the Transformers stuff, we finally got to see some brand new images and more importantly, some in-hand prototypes of the brand new Flame Toys for Eye model kits. So we had a huge list that was put out by for Eye model kits and, and Flame Toys, I want to say about oof, four months ago. And finally, we get to see some of those products in person. Now, absent, unfortunately, is their Optimus Primal, their Big Convoy, their Bumblebee Red Edition, their Bonsai Tron, their Bludgeon, and their Black Arachnia. But what they do have on display are brand new, we've never seen them yet, for the very first time, their Generation 1 Megatron model kit, which, keep in mind, they have made a Megatron in the past, but it was the IDW design. This is based off of the original Generation 1 model, like I guess we'll call it the Fleuro Deary design, the animation model. Uh, we also have a Beast Wars Megatron, and this one is very stylized. It's pretty crazy how they did it, especially his um, his uh, beast tail, the way they made it into even more of a kind of trident kind of weapon. It's pretty crazy how they did it. But then again, when you look at the Optimus Primal, it's not too surprising. Primal was also stylized like crazy, and the Megatron looks just as nuts. Uh, definitely excited about that one. Looks really good. And the last one, and this is a very important one, because he has yet to get a piece of Transformers merchandise in any shape or form since his first manga appearance. Uh, how are we going to say this name? I'm going to go with Gildart. That's how he was called for a while, Gildart. Uh, but it could be Gilthor. There's so many different ways it was pronounced. Essentially, in the Generation 1 manga, the Quintessons took the best aspects of G1 Convoy, aka Optimus Prime, and G1 Megatron, and smashed it together into this evil clone version, if you will. And then it was possessed by Starscream's ghost, and it was this crazy character that was pretty well known in the niche parts of the fandom, but, you know, all the other niche characters have gotten toys, they've gotten model kits, they've gotten PVC statues, something. He's never gotten anything, and now he finally has this coming out in Flame Toys from the Model Kit for I Model Kit series. So that's pretty exciting to finally get some kind of figural representation of this character. So that's pretty cool. Last thing I do want to cover is, so everything else has been shown at the show that was at San Diego Comic-Con, so there's no big other reveals there. But there is some brand new information from Europe. Now, this is in relation to what's going on with the Ironhide listing that we saw for Studio Series. So there was a listing for Studio Series Ironhide, and that was it. We just knew we were beginning a Studio Series Ironhide, and it was going to be part of the Studio Series 86 assortment. Well, today, there was a listing that was put up on Amazon France for a Studio Series 86 Ironhide listing. Now, here's where it gets kind of interesting. The price for this Ironhide is 47.39 francs. Now, francs is the currency in France. It's the French franc. And 47.39 is a weird number because to give you perspective, they're, you know, let, let's, let's dial it back a bit. First of all, the Ironhide figure is supposed to be a deluxe class figure. That's the one thing that we have to stress first of all. Now, you could argue, well, this specific Ironhide that's been retooled from the Siege one, um, you know, might have more pieces and parts and might not fall into that deluxe price point. And I'd agree with you, but the thing is, is that despite the fact that that, you know, the Ironhide was paired in a two-pack, the Ratchet retool was paired in a two-pack, the Shattered Glass version of Ratchet was paired in a two-pack. But we also got that Ironhide mold in the DK2 Guard release with... Uh, with um, generation selects 
and that was twenty four ninety nine, the standard MSRP deluxe class price point. So I do believe that that mold is still within the budget of a deluxe class. Now that being said, going back to the Frank price here, forty seven thirty nine. Very weird because it's definitely way more than what a deluxe is. And even the Voyager class, a Voyager class in Franks in France is between 39 and 41. You could argue maybe a new MSRP due to inflation of 43.99, but at the end of the day, it's not 47.39. Maybe this is just an error or anything, but even if it is an error, even if it's not supposed to be 47, is he going to be a Voyager? Does that mean that he's going to be in the Voyager price point and there might be some extra accessories included to make it kind of like a hot rod situation where it's a deluxe class figure, but we included some extra stuff? Um, who knows? It's it's something that's very interesting. And again, studio series. So maybe he's going to have, I don't know, swappable chest stickers, you know, to have a, a hole in his chest when he got damage, swappable heads of damage or something. Who knows? It's very interesting to see that it's it's kind of leaning more into that Voyager price point if these prices are correct, despite the fact that this is something that is a deluxe class figure. Now, maybe I'm just reading too much into it, but all we do know is we're going to be getting a brand new Ironhide. Re, well, it could be a re-release. It could be a brand new mold. could be something, but we're going to be getting an Ironhide. It's going to be part of Studio Series 86 line, and anyone that's been paying crazy money for that Ironhide 2-pack a while back with Prowl, hold up now because there will be another opportunity. And probably the same thing with the Prowl. I mean, they were both in that shuttle in the 86 movie, so we probably will get a Prowl at some point also. But just keep that in mind. It's out there. It's going to happen. And the release date, supposedly according to this, this France listing on Amazon, is October 31st, 2022. So that means we might also get probably some official information from Hasbro in the near future. Potentially, judging by that date there, potentially maybe even at the Hasbro PulseCon that's going to be happening at the end of September and the beginning of October. So keep that in mind. Interesting stuff otherwise. Just wanted to kind of bring that out there for you people to keep that in mind. Don't overpay for Transformer toys. There's always opportunities to get them for a better price. Yeah, once in a while something gets away and goes up in value, but here is an opportunity, unlike some of the other ones, but here is an opportunity that that Ironhide that got away. It's kind of funny because we just had the movie Ironhide uh, studio series that became super expensive and now there's a cheaper alternative and now we have the same thing with here that there's probably going to be something we're going to be getting something in the near future and it's going to make that figure that character for your display much more affordable keep that in mind and put it aside be patient the opportunity will present itself let me know what you think guys and we still got more news coming later this week i'll talk to you again real soon